Lakeshore, and welcome to A Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. Earlier this week, the Manitowoc Public School District's Board of Education voted to give the board members key fobs for all district buildings, which does include the school. This decision has left some people upset, with some people questioning the need for board members to have access to the schools. We reached out to board president Stacy Seldner, who said it's a great way for students and staff to get to know board members better and for them to be more involved in what's happening. The board is also working on putting together policies regarding access to the schools. What would happen if those policies are not followed? What is happening with the former home of the Manitowoc Area Visitor and Convention Bureau? That is a question we asked Manitowoc Mayor Justin Nichols, who said it's in the process of being sold. It's taken a while because the city's had to jump through some red tape in order to get it on the market. The buyer is known to be into restaurants and mini malls similar to like the ones you see across the Calumet Avenue. The MAVCB, meanwhile, they're still in operation. They're located at 3733 Dewey Street. The West Foundation in Manitowoc has announced a new grant program. The Director's Choice Imagining Grant is divided into two parts, totaling $100,000. Half will go to a nonprofit that comes up with a program that will serve the residents of Manitowoc County, with the rest going to a nonprofit that designs a program focused on the arts, culture, or environment in the county. Details and grant applications can be found at westfoundation.us. And ACE Building Service in Manitowoc has been named a 2022 Top Metal Builder by industry publication Metal Construction News. This is the first time the company's been ranked in the outlet's annual report. Chris Herzog, the president of ACE Building Service, said of the honor, we are extremely proud to be named one of the top metal builders in Northern America and couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for our company and team members. You can always find more local news online anytime at chafernews.com. You have yourselves a fantastic weekend. We'll see you next week.